Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, one thing real quick before we get started on this video, we're trying out a new microphone we got. So let us know if it sounds any better. Um, hopefully this makes our audio a little bit better. But anyways, today's video we are gonna be doing um, Christmas ideas. So Christmas is just around the corner really. So this is um, just some last minute ideas. Maybe if you've got um, someone who collects farm toys that you know, or if you're a farm toy collector and maybe give you some ideas of some things that might be good to have on the Christmas wish list. So we're just gonna kind of start with low price range stuff and build on up to some higher end stuff. So this first few things are gonna be more for your like kids or um, just cheaper and stuff, stuff that's meant to be played with. It can kind of take a beating and you're not out a lot of money. So first up, we're just gonna go with this truck. This is, and this stuff, the first few, these are all about $10. So this truck right here, Ertl Dodge Ram, uh, 3500 dually you can get these at like tractor supply or anywhere that has those like collect and play stuff on those racks um, around ten dollars they've also got some ford rangers um and a chevy uh 2500 and some oh some other trucks like i think they got some dodge ram 2500s Here's the Chevy 2500. They also have like these service trucks here. These are all about $10. You can normally find those on the collect and play stuff from Ertl. So another thing, as you saw in that, was this grain trailer. So this is a gooseneck grain trailer. It's also around that $10 price range. Fits on here. It dumps. One thing, if uh, you are gonna buy a gooseneck trailer, make sure that you already have a truck that has the gooseneck hole in it or um, go ahead and just buy one with it and gift them um, at the same time. All right, so another collect and play item is this spreader. So um, this was the first spreader we ever had in our collection just cause it's cheap, it's easy to get. They sell it at a lot of places. So like I said, this is around that $10 price range and it does not have a decal on the actual, the John Deere part of the unit, but it is a 4920 is what it would be in real life, but it does have good decals all over the spinner box, um, good new leader decals, a lot of detail for a $10 toy. So that's a pretty good one. As a ladder. Yeah, the ladder, which, which might, falls off. You might want to take off. Yeah, but. All right, next we have this, this good little implement. Now this, you can pick up quite a bit under ten dollars you might even be able to get it at around five dollars and this is the same thing like at a tractor supply or something rule king maybe um this john deere spreader it's a good little good little toy here's some tractors also in that collect and play you've got this like international another international with a cab now these don't have model numbers but there's also a john deere 4020 does come with the model number and then there's a couple other like a i think there's a sound guard tractor that they have um kind of resembles this one but with no model number and then um like a smaller one like this, but the model number is not on it. So those are also options and those come in a little under $10 as well. Okay, also we, um, Ertl makes this spreader. Um, I believe this one came with a tractor. I know they make a John Deere one. They've had the toy around for plenty of years. Uh, it's a pretty good toy and would make a great gift idea to uh, someone to play with. All right, so here's some green light tractors. They're kind of new at making tractors. They've only been making them for probably a couple years now. Now they do make other stuff besides the internationals. I just only have internationals. They make some Fords and some other stuff. They're older tractors. Um, these come in around the $10 price range as well, but they are heavily plastic. And I will warn you, if you do have a kid, um, they'll probably break like this one just come came broke out of the package. And then if you can see these cylinders, if you lift the thing up, they don't stay in too well. So I wouldn't necessarily advise getting one with like a load or anything because they do break kind of easy, but they are cheap. Um, if you're wanting something cheap, that's a cheap option. 
Hey, here's another great idea is these green light trucks. These are three that we have. We have, I don't know how many green light trucks. These are just three heavy duty ones we have. Um, there's all sorts of colors, all different gears, different brands. It makes a great toy around 10 to 12 bucks. And I'm sure the person you give it to will be pleased with if you give it to them. Sticking with green light, um, these are really cool. These are the SD series trucks and they've got internationals and Max and some other stuff. This is a Mac dump truck here. Um, they come in different colors too. This one's the American flag color. You can get a black one and just other stuff. International dump truck, international steak truck, which you can take the steak off and have a flatbed truck. So that's really cool. Plus there's also, I think like a fuel truck and they come in tons of different paint jobs for each of these vehicles. And they're in that probably 12 to $15 price range, depending where you get them. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, at Meyer, and a lot of places online sell it. A lot of places that don't necessarily sell like tractor stuff, but sell like car stuff will have green light. So they're fairly easy to get. Another thing in that series, which is cool, is they have garbage trucks, which this is kind of getting a little bit off model farm stuff, but I think the garbage trucks are cool as well. So. Hey, here, uh, staying with around 10, $15, somewhere in there. Um, you have these two semis, two different semis from Ertl. This is a John Deere one. Um, you can usually find at maybe Walmart or a place like that, maybe even your John Deere dealership. And then here is an example. This one's just the John Deere branded one, but it's the grain trailer. This is a great starter grain trailer for anyone. And then this semi is uh, kind of the older Ertl semi. Hey, here's another implement that would be really good to get someone for a present. This is just one example, a hay baler. Also, it comes with bells, which makes it real fun to play with. You can see, opens up. So, you got Case ones, John Deere ones, New Holland ones are probably the ones that are going to be in this uh, lower price range. So, going for like value, this is a really good value set. You get two implements. Um, you can find these different places, probably around. 10 to $15, depending on where you go. Um, a lot of John Deere dealerships will still have this set. It was one of our first sets earlier on because um, you get a really nice tractor with the actual grain drill. So you could, you know, a toy for planting if you don't have something like that. Um, it's good value set. It's got a 1590 grain drill with a 7215R with duels on the back. So it's just an overall really good set with some good detail. Um, it's great for beginners or for collectors as well. Okay, uh, one of our prior last thing in the lower price range. Um, I think I saw this around 15 bucks online marked down. This is a New Holland set with the Ram 2500 and the trailer. You get this skid steer. Pretty cool little set. I mean, you get three things. For that price, can't really complain. Good little toy. All right, so this is a set that runs you about 20 bucks. Um, they've been making this set since like 2009. They're still making it. It's gonna be in, out in 2022 as well. It's still in the catalog, so you can find them at John Deere dealerships normally that sell toys and other places that sell John Deere toys, like actual detailed stuff. Um, and it's a pretty nice set for 20 bucks. You get this 8320R, it is the older style 8R, but what is nice about this is you get a pretty good grain card. As you can see, like there's decals all over it, um, a folding jack stand there, the hitch looks great, the arm moves, and you know, you got ladder, interior detail, all the lights and everything. So this is going to be probably the cheapest way to get a grain cart. Um, and sometimes have them in harvesting sets and stuff, but just this set, tractor and grain cart set, if you don't have a grain cart and you're wanting one, this is gonna be the easiest, cheapest one you can get. 
and I mean it's a pretty good set for 20 bucks. All right, so this is kind of going to be getting into a little bit of a higher end stuff, a little more expensive. These will run you in that 20 to 25 dollar price range, but they're good detail. These are going to be the Prestige series. Now there's more than just these three. Um, I'm just kind of blanket throwing that out there. The Prestige series tractors. I've got a case here and a New Holland four wheel drive, and then the John Deere 8RX. What the Prestige, you get the mirrors, flashing lights, just more detail on the tires and rims look more realistic. So they're nicer in toy, but the, saying that, they still are kind of more, they're still very much a toy. They could be played with. The mirrors aren't gonna break off super easy or anything like that. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if it is gonna be for like somebody who's gonna play with it, a lot of people don't like, the tracks don't really roll on this. Um, I mean, you can kind of see the front, but I have to put a lot of pressure. So tires are better for playing, just they roll smoother. The tracks normally don't work out as well if it is someone that's wanting to play a lot with it the tracks a lot of times people don't like those if they're playing with it now if you're just sitting there looking at it on a display or on a shelf the tracks look great but those are kind of the prestige series tractors you can get them a lot of times at dealerships or somewhere online that sells a lot of farm toys but and there's more than just these but the prestige series is kind of that nicer end toy a great toy to get i think it's very popular i think kids will really like this it comes with the spray sprayer option and in the same box or whatever you can take it off and put this on i'll show you that real quick comes off real easy just two attachment points and slides in and so it's almost like two in one and i think it's a uh, your kid will really like this or even adults Here's also um, the Prestige series has some combines in it. This being probably one of the best combines in the Prestige series, the 7150. Ton of detail, steering re rear axle, ladder moves. I mean, feeder house has hydraulic cylinders on it. Tons of detail, mirrors, lights, folding staircase. This thing will run you like 30, 35 bucks. And great detail on the headers but these are if somebody likes case combines these are great and then if you're wanting something on the lower price end side there's like a 7250 these will run you like 20 bucks there there's also i think in other combines but these are probably your cheaper ones on the case side now john deere also has some cheaper combines as well but the more high-end ones in the prestige series right now the big thing is the x9 so a lot of people are wanting these if they're john deere fans or john deere combine people they want these they come with this huge 50 foot head a folding 16 row uh head corn head but this prestige series combine they're getting a little you can still find them a lot of places but some people are selling starting to starting to feel like they're getting a little hard to get but um and if you really want something uh that's really gonna Someone's really gonna like get them one of these, but I will warn you, these are like a hundred bucks now. They're hard to find. Um, that's not what they originally were when they came out a month ago, but they have gotten pretty really much. rare. All dealerships are pretty much sold out. Right? Yep, one of 6,000 you can see there. Um, if you're really, really wanting these, contact me. I might have one or two that I'd be willing to part with. But anyways, yeah, these are probably one of the hottest farm toys for this year. All right, so next thing is grain carts that are made by Speccast. These are higher end. They get kind of expensive in that $25 to $35 price range. Here's a Kinsey 1305. These were new this year. They come with duals, tracks, or floaters. Um, another thing is the J&Ms. So you can get the J&M made by Speccast on duels walking duels you can get them in green red um tracks you can get those in green or red or you can get floaters get those in green red blue um, you can also get this american flag series which this is really cool i think this would be anybody who would get one with the american flag probably think that's a pretty cool christmas gift they are um one of the coolest 
grain carts, toys, and real life. I think just having that American flag decal. Um, they do make it in black and I think maybe a green and a red one, but not exactly sure. But anyways, those are really cool and those are probably gonna run you 30 to $35, but they are really nice. I would not suggest these for people that are younger because they might, they're kind of fragile. They'd break fairly easy, but um, for more of a collector, these are top of the line. All right, the last thing I wanted to throw in here was both the, these are on the cheaper side. Well, I don't really remember now. This might be close to 20 bucks. These were around 12 when we bought it, maybe more like 15 now, but these are planners. They're very plasticky, very toy-like, um, but they'd be good for somebody that doesn't have a planner. Um, every model farm needs a pl corn planter on it. So I remember how excited we were to get our first um, corn planter, which was a lot like this one. It was just the model before this one. But they are, they're nice, but they can also be played with. They look good, um, but they're also not, they're fairly durable. They're not like a spec cast. These are made by Ertl, but they are 21, um, 2150 Case IH, and then the Exact Emerge John Deere 1775 Narrow Transport. So these are nice um, units for someone like a kid or something because no model farm is complete without a planner. Anyways, that's kind of what we got for you. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, throw them in the comments below. Um, if you want to help out others, just leave a comment of what you think would be a great idea or if there's something you've been wanting let us know um, just share that down below but if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't thanks for watching